In this video, we'll talk about taking the roots of complex numbers that are written in polar form. The first one is the third root of 8e to the 30 degrees i. We have a theorem that we can just follow, and that is if we have the nth root of some complex number written in polar form, that's r times e to the i theta, then the roots equal r to the 1 over n, or that is the nth root of this r, times e to the i times theta over n plus k times 360 degrees over n. And that's for every k, and k equals 0, and then 1, and then on all the way up to n minus 1, where n is, again, the, the root. So in this first one, n is 3. So we can just follow this, this pattern. Now, uh, a lot of textbooks use w for the roots, and we'll just follow suit with that. So w sub 1, the first root, is the third root of 8, that's the r here, times e to the i times theta, or 30 degrees, divided by n, that's 3 again, plus 0, k is 0, the first time we go through this. So 0 times 360 degrees over 3 again, over n, and all of that simplifies to 2 times e to the 10 degrees i. Now I'll do the next one. We're going to have three total, and then you'll maybe see a pattern that starts to develop here. So we have the third root of 8 times e to the i times 30 degrees over 3 plus 1 times 360 degrees divided by 3. So this, times, this time k equals 1. All right, that equals 2 again, times e to the, well, we already had the 10 here, plus another 120 degrees, so now we're at 130 degrees i. So, let's see if you can follow that pattern. I'm sure you can, but try to take a guess here. We're just going to add another 360 degrees divided by 3, or that is another 120 degrees. So I'd write all this stuff, I'll put all of this in ditto marks, because really then it's just 2 times 360 degrees divided by 3. So that's just adding another 120 degrees. So we get 2 times e to the 250 degrees i. So those are the three roots. So on to the next one. We are going to have four roots. Let's see if we can quickly get those roots. The first one, w sub 1, that is the fourth root of 81. Of course, I could write it like this. That's 81 to the 1 fourth power. But the, regardless of the way you write it, the fourth root or 81 to the 1 fourth power, the, the evaluation is the same. So that will be 3. Now times e to the i times 60 degrees divided by, now our n is 4, so divided by 4 plus 0 times 360 degrees divided by our n, or 4, so that equals 3 times e to the, we end up with just this, the 60 degrees divided by 4, or 15 degrees i. Let's see, the next one w sub 2, we are going to add another 90 degrees onto this 15 degrees because everything else is going to stay the same. We're going to have this uh, fourth root of 81. We're going to have all of this, but we have 1 times 360 degrees divided by 4. So that's going to add another 90 degrees onto, onto the 15. So our second root will be 3 times e to the 15 plus the 90, so that will be 105 degrees i. 
if you don't believe me, of course, write it all out and, and uh, try it yourself. But it's nice to recognize patterns when they are there. So the second root is what we just wrote. Now the third root, then we'll just add another 90 degrees. So we'll have 3 times e to the 195 degrees i. And the fourth root will be 3 times e to the 285 degrees i. We just added another 90 degrees, or 360, divided by 4 onto each uh, subsequent uh, number or root. And that is finding the roots of complex numbers in polar form.